pull-up overhead press and deadlift workout. So the pull-up is a real staple for so much of the body weight strength work. So it is something you really want to track. Um, film it, which is really good, but really take note of you know, how much volume and intensity you're doing each workout and you're actually getting stronger. So ways to know you're getting stronger, you're getting an extra rep, it's pretty obvious. Um, but you might not be able to get an extra rep, but you come slower on the eccentric coming down on your last rep. That's an improvement. You might change the version to a harder version. So that way it is a you know, more challenge, so more of a challenge and, and gradually get the reps to the same um, number that you could do on an easier version. For example, um, doing the underhand grip with one ring is harder than the two rings parallel like that. Uh, which just allows for a better pull when you're getting that, getting that nice depth hanging to be harder. The other thing too is you might do a longer rest period, so do three minute rounds to get some more reps and then bring it down to two and a half or two minutes but maintain those reps so that way you know you're getting stronger because there's a less rest period, so it's a lot harder. Uh, so really take track, take, you know, take note but also yeah, keep tracking it so that way you know if it what you're doing is actually working and getting that adaptation. So this month, um, working the underhand version, so it's more of a chin-up style, you can use one ring. If you're working on the parallel one or you've got the two ring ones and you're doing well with that, keep going with it just to mix it up. Um, you can have it more like that, but a bit closer or hold it a bit wider on the ring. But you want to get that nice lat stretch on the rep, so a nice dead hand position at the bottom. And then getting that nice full pull chest all the way up. Coming all the way down into that stretch. Really getting those ribs in. Um, so you have the ring set up higher uh, to get a straight body if you're doing that. Or if you're doing jump ones a bit lower so that way you can jump up each time. Your feet are touching the ground and you just bend them back. Just make sure you keep those hip flexors open as you come down. Try not to pipe and close the body. You really want to make Take advantage of that loaded lat stretch for efficiency for your handstand and for the next move for the overhead press. Uh, so overhead pressing, I think it's important for most people to really work on um, using some light dumbbells or the bands to start with to really get a nice full range of motion. The floor ones are great um, and I like those a lot but for some people that are just not quite strong enough you can do the ones where you've got the hands up on something higher so it's not as heavy there. So if that's the option that you have, but working through the bands is, you know, like anyone can afford some bands, they're not that expensive. It's not ideal because as the band gets longer, it gets tighter, so it's harder, but it's still going to work it in a, in a very proactive way. Um, so what your key focus points are going to be to get that nice alignment, get that nice position there. So imagine you're in some parallels nice and deep there and you're pressing up over the head and getting that nice handstand line and even looking at the ceiling there keep that handstand coming down and then press it up and, uh, so I like the band for that if you're using dumbbells I like the parallel grip turning up internally rotating at the top um, makes it easier but it's, if you're trying to improve your handstand and that strength in your handstand, then it's going to make that harder long term. It's like the elbows flaring out. So keeping it more like that, getting that full range, so coming right down and then pressing up into that overhead position with the ribs in it. And then you can see that handstand position. Each rep makes a big difference to getting that carryover into that nice handstand push up. Uh, and that way it makes it a much more practical exercise if that's what you want to develop. So for the deadlift, different options, you know, for me I do a straight leg deadlift and I'll use um, the dumbbells off the box, I can get up to 80 kilos on that and I go off the box so I can get a nice really deep stretch and then I go to bar if I'm going over 80 but um, you know you might just do it with a dumbbell like that or just body weight Single leg is a great way to get lots of loading if you don't have many weights or even just body weight version like that. So you're getting that really strong stretch and strengthening. Now you can do it, and if it's more functional for you, just to do the bent leg versions. It's a great mass builder. 
Um, I don't personally use that because I don't get much of a stretch from it, even if I'm going up down like that, and barbells, so that way my strength doesn't go too far past my, the range of motion that I'd like to have in my body, but it's really an individualized thing. But I'm guessing if you're working um, with this program, then you have mobility goals as well as strength goals. So the high hip position or a locked knee position is going to strengthen you more for kind of all the gymnastic strength style stuff. So it's your choice, but you know, I, I try and make this main strengthening stuff that I'm doing crossover and you can make it more effective. Obviously, if something's not feeling right, then work with what feels best and build upon that. Stance width, you can go, you know, from a close stance, single leg to wider, kind of sumo style. Deadlifts. Now, if you do have back issues and you're building it up, I highly recommend doing more of a, you know, what looks like more of a squat position. Um, so you're getting that butt down, bending the knees more, so the hips aren't staying high. That way, the spine's more vertical throughout the lift. If you're going to get um, less risk on the spine, you can really train the legs quite hard. So work with that. Get your versions through to me. But this is. This workout in particular, the three main ones, uh, three main workouts are pull push legs ones, this one, uh, horizontal pull push squat, high pull, uh, dip lunge, those are the, really the basic ones, so if you can't get anything else done in the week, just get those three workouts done, even if they're in one session and you only train once in a week. Really important to keep track of, but also to keep working on because they cross over to everything, give you nice strength, stability, and mobility throughout those, all those ranges of motion. So you get them into me, let me have a look, and um, keep developing yourself. So.